Good morning guys and happy Wednesday and I hope you guys are just having a great week so far. Um, I was really struggling this morning at F3, right? My legs were still absolutely shot from something that I did on Monday night. And um, while Rylan was so soccer practice out at Jennifer Ross, I decided instead of going to the gym when it was such a beautiful day outside, I was gonna go ruck at Lake Mare instead. Now, if you aren't familiar with rucking, it's this super simple but super effective workout. You just add some extra weight um, onto your back with like a backpack or something like that and you just start walking, right? It sounds simple enough. And, and this is actually, this is my rucksack right here. Um, it actually has a 35 pound cast iron plate in the back of it. And let me tell you, it gets heavy really quick. Um, during his practice, I could normally walk uh, up to Lake Mayer, get three laps in around the lake, and then walk back to the parking lot and before I lose daylight. And that distance is right at five miles. Now, carrying that extra weight for a quick walk of five miles, it demolished my legs. So when we started the workout with a run this morning at F3, I knew I was in trouble. But I pushed through because that's how you get better, right? Well, guys, we have been talking about walking in the spirit this week at our five for fives. And as I was brainstorming during my laps, it hit me that my ruck was an illustration of what walking in the spirit looks like. In Galatians 5.17, Brooks and Jason both have hit on it. There's this tension between the desires of the flesh and the desires of the spirit. Now, the flesh is what we want, right? It's comfort. It's the easy way. Uh, Monday night, it was the voice inside my head that kept telling me that this backpack was really heavy and that I didn't really need to walk that far after all. I could just do one lap or two laps and let me tell you guys that voice got loud a lot actually but on the other side is the spirit right where we mirror Jesus and his priorities and the spirit focuses on the things that God wants for us and will often cost us Monday night that was the voice that was the one that kept saying that I needed to keep going right to get stronger those two voices they were clashing a lot around mile four and in our own lives we have that same kind of tension to manage as well in Romans 7 we hear a familiar statement when we read for I do not understand my own actions for I do not do what I want but I do the very thing I hate Paul goes on in this section to explain that there is a, a war going on inside of us the flesh does what we want selfishly and for our own um, gratification gratification right now the spirit that's inside of us it has another calling for us the calling to follow God's law and the example that we find in Christ but which side wins that's the tricky part just like I wanted to stop several times on Monday night I knew I had to keep putting one foot in front of the other um, and if I just stopped then I, I wouldn't get back up again right if I took the rucksack off it wasn't coming back on my back to walk in the spirit requires a level of obedience that is costly Right? We have to go through some pain sometimes. We have to not get what we want sometimes. We even have to think of other people first sometimes. And those kind of decisions, those kind of sacrifices are what it looks like to walk in the spirit. So guys, if rucking isn't your thing, totally fine. But think of something else in your life that you do because you know you have to do it, right? It could be cleaning the house. It could be going to the office. It could be dealing with a class that you don't really like students. If any of these things will give you an object lesson in what it means to walk in the spirit. It's not easy. It's not fun, but it's what we're called to do. So guys, as you go through your day to day, I don't give in to the flesh, right? And don't Give in to what you want. Instead, be strong and be better than you were yesterday, guys, and walk boldly in the spirit. We will see you all real soon.